everyone, and welcome to a new age of vampire Amazons. This is the new seat of my power. Beautiful, isn't it? And who am I? Well, you're a queen, of course. Queen Wisteria Salazar, that is. Inheritor of the Salazar throne and crown. Welcome to my castle. You all must be terribly curious, I'm sure. You didn't think I'd leave the tour to some stranger, did you? Why, that's absurd. In this world, I am ruler, and I decide who goes where. Watch your step. If you get lost, I won't find you. You might find yourself in the dungeon, though. My champion's a bit soft, but she's receiving some training. She is from a long line of warriors, after all. Can't disappoint the blood. Ah, what a lovely sight. Maybe once I'm resistant to the sun, I'll be able to enjoy it better. It's quite different at night without all the light. I'm sure the alchemist will be fond of this path, with the air and the cauldron. Oh, and this is even better, the garden at the castle front. Vampires need to get away from the sun, though, so we have shadier retreats for the day. My sister is quite fond of her dragons, you see. Dead ones. She's discovered some new aspect of the goddess she worships. Escapes me. Come, come. We're going inside now. In the foyer, through the archway, and there. Welcome to my throne room. I expect to host many people from many places in this chamber. Quite different from my mother's castle, I know. I still don't understand her design entirely. No dining and more of a kitchen than needed. That too so far from the ballroom. Here things are more... practical. Well... Except for that, I just wanted it. Vampires don't have much of an appetite, I'm sure you already know. But we do need bathrooms from time to time. There's a few around the castle, much like this one. Around four, I think. And a butler's room, of course, nearby. Makes sense to have them next to the kitchens. Back out and down the hallway is where things get exciting. I was never fond of sticking to one place in the castle, although I did frequent the sore repository, many times in fact, with my younger sister Isadora. I'm sure she's settling into Castle Sheba just fine. Plenty of things to do, ghosts to keep you company. This is one of our many gathering spots. A more private space for the coven, away from the happenings of the throne room. A reading nook, and you might have noticed the aquarium. You can see through to various chambers from all sides. Ah, the common room. A unique arrangement not heard of in castles of the past. A collaborative space for all members of the coven. Chess tables, desks for the children, cauldrons and shelves for potions, instruments for scholarly pursuits, games, music, art. There are other reasons for this open space, of course. I never understood my mother's need to have a locked tower for the alchemists. I'd much prefer full access to my potions, because... They are mine, and the Coven's. I do have noble aspirations as well, I assure you. There's a certain atmosphere to working in the same place, working together. Oh, and this is the treasury. Looks modest. I still need our treasures moved. Takes a lot of work, you know. Through the other door, her staircase leads us down to the dungeon, every good champion's favorite. I don't imagine I'll spend as much time down here as my mother did, too caught up with brawn and physical strength. Here lies our champion's chambers, 
I'll have to make sure the others don't see this. Like I said before, too soft. Down the hall, some shelves, and the birth chamber. A most special place. One day, I will come here to bear my daughter. More than one if the goddess blesses me. Not all are so lucky. Many bloodlines have died through the ages, from the birth of sons. The select few have survived with the Salazars from the time of Queen Sheba. Our champion is one of them. This will be her sparring chamber. And through that door is a place you might not want to see again, unless you have a traitorous head, hand, or heart. Mark my words, if you come here, you won't leave alive. <laughs> Scared? Good. On to the next level. A staircase in the throne room leads to the second floor. Looks like night has fallen, but we have plenty of lamps to light the hallways. Here. The fireplace should keep you warm. Well, you'll have to start it yourself. Moving on. Our alchemist's chamber is quite... Right. A good many years of service affords this much, at least. A balcony off the hallway leads to some other rooms. Quite the scene, I'll admit. On the left, we have our scholar's residence. A teen for now, but lots of space to study and grow. On the right, the priestess has made her humble abode. I told you, my sister was fond of the dragons, dead ones. And now, we arrive at my private chambers, fitted with all the comforts a queen can afford. Dark and mystical, with a few exotic amenities, appropriate for a royal vampire, no? Down the hall is the children's quarter. Two beds and a balcony for fresh air. Once they're older, they'll be sharing chambers with their mothers. A different arrangement to how things have been run in the past. Back out the archway is a fairly long passage. A few bathrooms break the journey, but it's the end that matters the most. Ignore the chairs and the art some food and drink to liven the senses. I should probably get a servant to refill that. And here begins the greatest space of all, the Grand Library, a vast haven of books rich with magical and vampiric knowledge, my finest creation. You see, I was quite specific with the architect. I had a vision. A grand dream, you could say. A doorway up the stairs leads to the priestess's clinic. It's private, unless called for. From here, access is explicit to the priestess. A secret garden for emotion trees and whatever else their rituals require. And finally, a chamber our children will see only once in their lifetime, the Prophecy Chamber. A dedication to the Goddess, Mother of all things past, present, and future. Well, that's the end. You've seen my castle, you know what I'm capable of. My reign marks the beginning of a new era, an era of change of cunning, of supremacy. My reign marks the height of the vampire Amazons. Farewell then, I'm sure I'll see you around. Oh, what's this? A poster of my great-grandmother and her coven.